Good morning. This is Larry McMillan with the stock market update on Monday, March 27th. So <clears throat> today uh, we're still looking at pretty much at the same set of data we were looking at last week. It was a little bit of an improvement, but basically the S&P chart is still negative. There's a series of lower highs and lower lows. Uh, it rallied, but sort of failed up here near the uh, first resistance area and near the declining 20-day moving average. So those things are all uh, generally negative. There's resistance on the chart. The strong resistance is from 4080 all the way up to 4200. So if that were overcome, uh, we, we would probably change our minds. But right now, the negativity of the SPX chart uh, dictates to me that we should still have a core bearish position. Of course, we will trade other indicators around that. Uh, one of those other indicators is that we have a, a McMillan volatility uh, band buy signal that's been in place for a couple of weeks. But we also now have buy signals from the equity only put call ratios. That's a sort of new development. Uh, the ratios have rolled over and begun to decline slightly, but enough so that our computer analysis programs are dictating uh, that those are now on buy signals. So they'll remain on buy signals unless they turn back upwards again. The uh, same cannot be said of breadth, though. The breadth of the market has been poor, and the breadth oscillators were so uh, negative that even a day or two of positive breadth last week was not able to roll them over to buy signals. Uh, probably, certainly two more days of positive breadth would roll them over to buy signals. I'm not sure that one day will. Uh, today looks like we'll probably have positive breadth, but you know, the day's not over yet. Um, New highs versus new lows. New lows continue to dominate, and so this indicator uh, remains solidly on a sell signal. It's an intermediate-term indicator, usually only change directions maybe once or twice per year, so it's on a sell signal right now. <clears throat> the volatility-based indicators are more positive. We have a spike peak buy signal on the VIX index, and we have a trend of VIX buy signal also on the VIX index. Meanwhile, the term structure of the VIX futures and the CBOE volatility indices is sloping slightly upwards, so that's modestly bullish. So overall, the volatility indicators are bullish for stocks. So putting this all together, uh, we are still maintaining that core bearish position. We still see some negativity from breadth and from new highs versus new lows, but we are beginning to see buy signals from the other indicators. And usually the equity only put call ratios are pretty strong signals as well. So uh, we're trading these from both sides as we normally do. And I invite you to visit our website, take a look at our daily publications so you can uh, stay up to date on these indicators in a more timely manner. Uh, meanwhile, have a great week trading.